On Health Check, a new procedure is helping folks with a common heart problem. Health reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman is at the Action News Big Board to explain. Allie. Hey guys, yeah, we're talking about problems with the aortic valve, which is right here. This is basically the exit door of the heart. Blood leaves here and goes to the rest of the body. But some infections and just age itself can cause damage to the valve. And now there's a new way to fix it. 75-year-old Oren Deloach has spent his life playing and directing music. I won't say that I can't live without music, but it has been a real uh, enlightenment to me. Also in enlightenment are his six grandchildren. But all of this was recently put in jeopardy. Oren started having trouble catching his breath just walking up steps. His aortic heart valve had become stiff and wasn't working properly. It's a common problem among seniors. Without treatment, it can lead to early death. It's typically fixed with open heart surgery. That's the procedure ABC's Barbara Walters had in 2010. But for Oren, that surgery was too risky. So doctors decided on a new procedure called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR. This is dramatic technology. Dr. So Frank Bowen at Cooper University Hospital says they can now replace aortic valves without opening the chest. They thread a catheter through an artery in the groin, or by making a small incision between the ribs. This new valve is then moved into place. The valve goes inside the heart, pushes the old valve out of the way, and then takes over and, st and allows the heart to beat normally. He says the main benefit is it opens the door to treat more patients. More long-term studies are needed, but Dr. Bowen expects more patients to have this less invasive procedure in the future. I can breathe fine now. Oren calls it a lifesaver. It's allowed him more quality time with his family and his music. And if you compare the two procedures, open heart surgery obviously has a longer recovery time, but it is still the gold standard. This new procedure is only for patients who can't tolerate the traditional surgery. Now, Cooper and Penn were the first in our area to offer this new procedure, but many more hospitals also now have it. And we have more information on 6abc.com. Monica? All right, very interesting. Thank you, Allie.